Ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite you to the second congressional debate here in the congressional district. And we have three uh, three de candidates to debate. One is... The Republican. What, what, what's that you wearing? Oh, look, I have the same one. Oh, I, I'm sorry, ma'am. And who are you? I'm the Democrat. And what are you with that green thing? My name is Colin Bevan. I'm the Green Party candidate for Congress in the 8th Congressional District. Okay. Thank you. And so the issue we're going to debate is what should we do with all the young men in jails? The United States has more people in jail than any other place in the country. Sir, wh wh where, where are you from? From Brooklyn. Yeah, hey, where in Brooklyn? I live in Bedside. Okay, you're in Bedside. So, are, are you in jail for uh, financial fraud? No, that's not it. Okay, are you in jail for uh, bringing down the economy? I wouldn't say so. Are you in jail for um, bribing a politician? No. Nope. Are you in jail for smoking something at a Jay-Z concert? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. So, what should we do about people like this young man who end up in jail? Mr. Republican, what do you have to say about jails and young men? I think it's very important to address our problems. I think the free market is the best way to address problems and my, my marketing friends tell me that we could probably use some more jails. Okay, more jail. Miss Democrats, what's your position? How, what do we do about all these young men going to jail here in Brooklyn? Well, I think I apologize for you being in jail. That's unfortunate. I hope you can make it a learning experience. But I think we need more jails because I need to look tough on crime. And my name's Colin Bevan. I'm the Green candidate for Congress in the 8th Congressional District. And I believe in the legalization of marijuana because I do not believe that victimless crime should end up with people in jail. We should divert the resources that are used to, to catch people that smoke marijuana and use those same resources to catch the people on Wall Street who are perpetrating fraud and bringing down the American economy. Not only that, but 70% but of people in jail committed their crime while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Most crime has to do with addiction, and that is a health problem, not a penal problem. We should be helping our young men by helping them with their addiction problems, not putting them in jail where they learn and have more problems. Thank you.